In this video, we're gonna be designing a sci fi screwdriver. We're gonna be using Blend Bros. Mat to texture it. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. Hey guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and let's get started. So let's grab a cylinder and we're going to increase the number of thirds here to, I don't know, 60 is fine, RX90 and let's scale it on, on Y axis, maybe something like this. It's gonna be our handle here, okay? Cool. So here we're going to uh, drop a loop one loop here and maybe one loop somewhere here and we're going to alt and macro that and select these and uh, shift curve extract okay and we're going to actually make it a bit thicker so kind of sticks out all right now let's sharpen this and sharpen that here we're going to create another loop in the middle and we're going to scale that and alt and macro inside and select this whole thing as uh, SY, scale it in a little bit, there we go, uh, one more here, and we're going to scale this and alt your macro inside, like that, cool, here we're going to chamfer this, so let's uh, move it a little bit deeper and then chamfer this, let's just scale this, chamfer this and then um, Insert this here, extrude it, insert it, and uh, extrude it here, and scale this. We're going to create kind of like an ending here. Cool. So that's that. And uh, we need to fix the shading, so sharpen. And Blender's gonna crush. So let's try again. Control S, most recent, and boom. Okay, so. Control sharpen, boom. Right, so now here we're gonna have another part. So shift curve extract is here. And we're gonna move this up here. Uh, let's apply this and we're gonna have a loop here. Maybe somewhere here. We're gonna scale that. Control I mean, bevel, that's control B. And we're going to uh, scale this in. So let's uh, S Shift Y, scale it in like that. This could be uh, a little bit narrower. And maybe kind of deeper here like that. And then scale this one in here. And maybe we're going to extend it. I think this one's a little bit too narrow. So just scale it a bit. There we go. I think that will do. And sharpen. And weighted normals. And now the top here, I mean the front, could be flattened, you know. So just for fun, right? So do this and... Uh, is it the middle? I think so. Alt-A and then Alt-X. And we can run loops here. Mm, okay, it's gonna look pretty cool. Here we're gonna grab that and we're going to insert it and extrude it in right so here q and shift curve extract and uh i'm gonna scale this so shift s to geo scale it in and sharpen and we're gonna have um this one we can actually scale this on x like this cool and then we can run uh, another um, cylinder here in the middle, so RX90, actually, you know, we don't need 50 here, so let's make it, th yeah, 32 is fine, RX90 and GY, sharpen this, scale this, uh, run cavity, SY and S, shift Y, make it thinner and maybe even thinner, no, maybe this one could be a little bit thicker, and this one's gonna fit inside there we go cool this could be longer you know so kind of like a long screwdriver right there we go 
and uh, we can f think of some kind of an end here. So let's go with a plane and move it here, right? And scale this, and we're gonna rotate it uh, R Y ninety, and so uh, let's just uh, apply scale, and we're gonna apply thickness, so solidify. I'm gonna have to cut it right so D and uh, let's just uh, cut the shape here so maybe something like this and then mirror this sharp and duplicate it and then R Y 90 and maybe move it somewhere here or maybe like this something like that okay this could be a bit more thicker, uh, thicker. So let's just apply that. Or oh, actually, can I actually move the solidification still? Yeah, I can. Okay, so solidify this here, and solidify this here, right? So it's you know thicker here, right? And uh, there you go. It's actually a bit too big, right? So I'm gonna make it smaller. S. Gonna scale this here. There you go, right? That'll do. Cool, cool, cool. And it uh, could be a little bit longer, you know. So, uh, you know. So, E and extrude it and just scale it down. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty peachy. Now, here in the middle, what I want is I want. Um, what I want is. A screw so we're gonna make a screw here yeah? so let me show you uh, s y to scale this i'm gonna sharpen this and here we're going to run a ch um, chamfer mirror to the other side and this could be a little bit narrower right and then we're going to slash this here recover this and we're going to move the cursor to the middle select it and we're going to run control click with hard ups and we're going to run five of them okay so five and then we need to cut also this corner here okay so slice and recover this let's just uh, fix it make it a bit smaller and then control right the array so before we apply this, let's run uh, loops here and mirror them to the other side. Now we need to decide whether this is too too narrow or this is fine. I think this is fine. So we can apply this and select everything, shift M, and run the bevel here. Small one. Now you gotta be careful here because you know we're gonna have some booboos. So we need to fix them and press T to clean it. I'll take to the other side and you got yourself a screw. Uh, now let's make the screw bigger and bend it narrower. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Awesome. Here we could just do something like this and extrude it and set it here and extrude it. Same here, chamfer this, insert it, make sure it, okay, cool. All right, now here in the front, we're gonna have some fun. So let's go about cutter and, you know, cut it in here. It's gonna create some shading problems, but who gives a shit? So slice this, mirror to the other side, Peachy. We could have something like this also on the top, but on the top we could create something different, you know. We could create uh, something like this, right, and then mirror to the, uh, to the bottom. Cool. Uh, this one could be a little bit thicker, so solidify it a bit more. There we go. That's better. And maybe scale it a little bit so there's a gap here. Maybe not as big one, so as why there we go just a you know small gap how are we looking yeah we're looking pretty good so now we're gonna run some textures uh, we're gonna use blender bros textures now if you're watching this 
you know, later on this year, you probably have access to the add-on, so a link's gonna be in the description. Um, the day of recording, I don't have the add-on yet because we're working on it, it's a work in progress. And it's gonna be a material add-on, so have a look if you have access to it or not. Now here we're gonna grab an industrial floor, no, not this one, um, this one's gonna be better. We need to fix the scale, so scale is run it at, I don't know, 20. Well, that's actually a, a little bit crazy, uh, about 10. Oh, that's better. And you and Smart TV Project. You don't have to, you will not have to unwrap it uh, with the add-on, but, uh, you know, the add-on is not out yet, so I need to unwrap it. Here, I'm going to drop it down. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to rotate it so it's not boring, right? And now, um, this handle is going to be rubber, so let's go to uh, Asset Loader and let's grab... We could grab this one actually, make it darker, so um, this actually could work. So let's uh, let's apply scale and then let's uh, unwrap this so Smart TV project. That's better. Here we're going to increase the scale a little bit so we can see these indents. So instead of five, let's go with maybe two. There we go. And this one could be machine steel. Uh, so let's grab machined steel, which is here, peachy. This actually could be the same one, and this one could be different. Let's say, oh, this could be white, for example, although probably not. Um, maybe this uh, mud titanium. Oh, that's a nice one. So this could be mud titanium as well, and this could be machine steel, right? And so these two could be machine steel, right? So just, you know, copy them out here. There we go. Here in the middle, um, on this one needs to be unwrapped, by the way, so let's just run, you know, two edges here, and I'm going to sharpen them. In fact, um, yeah, let's mark them sharp. Also, I'm gonna uh, mark a seam here. And I'm gonna probably unwrap this manually. So I'm gonna run the seam down here in the bottom. Let me just apply this. So pressure and smart apply. Let me run the seam, he seam here in the middle. So um, mark seam. And then let's go to control tilde and enable seam. I'm going to control click sharpen on that to run seams on every single edge. Select everything you and unwrap. And this should solve our problem. Beautiful. So now here on this one, what I could do is I could run um, offset cut with mesh machine. Maybe not as big, um, a bit smaller, right? And what we could do here is increase the factor and optimize and smooth and in fact you can turn on the optimization and we could run a chamfer here which is going to be basically an illegal move for this kind of a geometry but you know we are blender bros we don't give a shit about geometry here why um and boolean cleanup shading sorted almost hang on uh, you bastard you could probably grab this and bring it closer to isolate this let's just gg and ef to flip it so you're gonna be straight so you're gonna flip it to this edge and then we can run um boolean cleanup I think that's better okay cool and then we can you know mirror this and what we can do here is grab this one inside it a little bit right and then we can uh, shift curve extract it right and we could put a light behind it so grab this screwdriver grab this part here and uh, uh, select 
Control plus and then Q and go to material and alt click to select the uh, uh, you know lighting you're gonna have a bit of a lighting coming through which is pretty cool we can mirror this to the other side and alt text with mesh machine to the other side so you're gonna have you know light on the other side and if you want to change the color of the slide it's really easy just go here and change the lighting you can even change strength uh, if you want here that looks pretty cool that's actually two bits too much too saturated so let's do something like that cool here we could have um, another light in the back right so plus and emission sign there we go maybe it's a bit too too um too wide so gy and just make it narrower we could actually run the bevel here chill that's gonna be too small so this is actually pretty cool, kind of like a tiny, you know, notch there. Now here could we have some buttons, but this could be done with decals. So we don't have to worry about that. Here too, we could have some decals also. This could be unwrapped. So, you know, smart UV project, no problem. Here too, smart UV project. And let's apply scale. And, uh, and I think we're good to go. Here too, smart UV project. Right, and uh, you know, we peachy, right? We peachy. This floor is a bit busy though, you know, I think I'm gonna make it a bit more simple. So um, let me just go to asset loader and maybe we can load in something a bit less uh, crazy, maybe rough plastic or mud plastic. This could work, synthetic rubber could be also good. Need to change the scale though. Let me see. Or oh, maybe plastic bumpy. Oh, that's nice. Original plastic. We need to change the scale though. So let's make it 10. Yeah. It's going to be a bit more refined. You see? That looks cool. Like laying on the ground. Could be even smaller. You know, 15. There you go. Always adjust your, you know, your texture to your needs. Because that's important. Cool. Or we could have a white one. Oh, that's nice. Maybe it's too bright. Or maybe this rubber. Oh, that's nice. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, 12. Oh, that's 30. Um, 15. Come on. 15. Maybe in smaller 20. Or maybe even fucking 30. 30. Oh, that's fucking juicy. I love it. Okay, I like that. So let's go with this, yeah? And, you know, let's just rotate it. I like that. I'm not crazy about this color here. So let's go to... Uh, color. And... Um, Mix color. You're not gonna be have to. You're not gonna have to do this. Uh, we're going to, you know, give you sliders, guys. So don't worry about it. And this one could be rotated a little bit. There we go. And let's uh, make it darker. Yeah. Maybe a bit more dark. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. So you know, trim sheet time. Yeah. Uh, so select that. And we're going to go with, um, do I have my PSDF mods here? Fuck, I don't. Okay, um, material and alt click here. Not alt click, sorry, my bad. Just click, yeah. And we're going to get that. We need to adjust it. So, you know, just make it brighter and rougher. So it kind of fits, more or less. And then we're going to run a trim sheet here. So let's go to trim sheet with something cool like that. Hold uh, alt and boom, right? And that looks pretty. Actually, that doesn't. Um, let me run something different here. Let me see. Maybe this one could be good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. And here we could have another one. Or we could have decals, you know, here. So we could have like a button or some shit. So maybe... Maybe, maybe something like that. Oh, that could be cool. I like that. 
uh, although this one's gonna be identical to this one i kind of don't like that so maybe something else maybe something else maybe something like this you know so project and then d match the shift and you need to match it to the background and here d and match and let's just match it one more time this is too bright actually this could work although this is a little bit let me just make it darker there we go that's better so that's one and uh you know i think this will do i mean we don't have to overdo this we could have some text on it you know so um some text name whatever here uh, maybe oh this one is cool modular I like that so just slap it in here you know make it smaller and d and project boom done right and it's, it's just a little bit fucking big hang on maybe make it smaller and then d and project yeah that's much better always think about scale when you're doing shit like this so maybe you could have this decal here you know on the top narrow it down because you can do anything you want with decals and just put it in here d and project we don't have to do it on the other side because no one's gonna see that so you know no one's gonna see that so worry about it right so here and then D and match. Now we can make it a bit brighter. There we go. It's a bit too bright though. It's a bit too bright. But um, yeah, well, let me just duplicate this Alt M and add a mat. You want to make it darker. Okay. And we're going to move it somewhere. What is it? I just turn it off in render and in scene. But we're going to actually have the mat here so I can run through it there we go that's better and i think we're good to go this one could be a little bit more shiny i'm just saying you know what i mean like the tip this is kind of interesting maybe not as shiny but uh or maybe white this could also be cool man hmm that's interesting like a white tip actually pretty cool I'm digging this. We need a bevel, guys, here, yeah, because, you know, without bevel, um, there is no sex life, okay? So here, on the end, we're gonna run a, a loop, okay, here, and then we're going to grab that and this face, right, and peachy, right? Awesome. And we're good to go. So now what we need to do is render it. This is a little bit too long, yeah? A little bit too long, I think. Maybe we overdone this, yeah? Long is good, but, you know, too long can be painful. You know what I mean? You're gonna get complaints. Let's just run with it. So, uh, camera and lock to view. And, you know, we need to... Uh, we're probably gonna go with... Um, different resolution so here 3440 always adjust resolution to the needs right you know what I mean important we could kind of float this bitch a little bit it's gonna look kind of cool I'm not gonna lie also we could uh, yeah floating could be interesting because you're gonna open up the shadows a little bit let's move this closer here there we go and unlock from view and let's see that that looks pretty good man looks pretty good looks pretty good okay cool so now we need some lighting yeah so shade editor and let's go to world and power save just in case because it's sunday and here we're gonna have a different light and control control t i have spoken there we go Control T and uh, let me go to my HDR pack. This is by Alex Angel. It's a fantastic pack, guys. Uh, you should be using that shit because it's amazing. Okay, so let's uh, check different gradients here. I could actually pump it from behind just the way they like it. So here we could run it from that area. 
boom you see you backlighting this thing which is pretty interesting now this floor is just vast which is a bit problematic but uh, you know what are you gonna do right we could also run the light from the top it's uh, here this one and then we can just reset the um, the value here oh that will not do we need to rotate this let me see Okay, now we're getting the rim. Uh, oh, this is actually pretty nice. But if I do that, I'm definitely needing a reflector because it's a little bit too dark. So let me see if this is gonna work. Yes, it will. So here it's gonna put new material and let me just rotate it a little bit. And like this, and we're gonna, come on. And we're gonna make this a bit darker, yeah, so, you know. So it's uh, lighting, I mean, opening up the shadows, but not completely. This is actually acceptable, you know, and we could have a few of these screws maybe here. So Shift D, right, put it in here, RX90. And so uh, let's just go to local view and let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. Let's insert them like this. Okay. And we're going to delete the faces, right? And I'm going to show you a cool trick with um, machine tools, which is a smart edge plus two. And then we're going to insert that and right click and use machine tools thread. And uh, let's, uh, whoa, one more time thread and let's increase the number of threads here and peachy and uh, we do need some bevel actually we don't have a bevel but the bevel is a bit too large it's overshooting a little bit there we go and we can put it on the ground so on the ground is this on the ground um you know if if the uh if this is on the ground then i think so should be the screwdriver to be honest um I'm just saying, so maybe we should um, lift this entire floor up. Maybe this is a better idea. I mean, probably right here. Oh, and now we can have some screws here. Um, shift D, Shift Z, Shift D, Shift Z, and this one could be rotated, but we need to make sure that it doesn't poke through the floor, yeah, so, you know, you know what I mean? How are we looking? Not terrible. This lighting could be coming a little bit from the left, so world and let's just see what we can do here that's not terrible there's a lot of open space here maybe i should move them a bit this way there we go that's a little bit better i think and we could have some logo here because it's a lot of space. So we're going to increase light path to 18 and 16. Six. I'm pumping this way above, you know, reasonable uh, threshold. But also here, I wouldn't mind some decals. And you know, I'm just going to run a regular mat here and black mat. And there we go. And uh, let me see that. Yeah, that's good. And we're gonna run a decal here, so we could run this one actually. Let me go. Um, yeah, this could be cool. And project how it looks. Oh, it looks pretty cool actually. I like that. Cool. So we got something like that over there, which is interesting. Cool, cool, cool. And now we can render this. So let's just save it, right? And go to regular view and render this anyway guys that's it for this one check out our material pack and add-on 
and also the ultimate trim sheet and decal part because they you know they work together very well thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one